Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here doing your daily reading, my darlings. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to force anything, right, Cancer? And thank you, my darlings. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support, seriously. Um, the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, the love, the um, groovy nickname that you gave me, Mammy Becca. I just love you guys. Thank you so much for being my family here and my peeps. All right, Cancer. We've got a lot of cards out. I, don't, I feel like somebody may be watching you. Um, I feel like actually I'm feeling like this is the karmix energy here. This page of swords, I've got to say. I feel like um, this. there's a masculine energy who feels absolutely stuck, trapped uh, with this karmic. They know things aren't going well, so does the karmic, but they're watching over this person. They're watching you, and this masculine is sad because, look, sad, depressed, because they're missing out on the person that they love, which is you, I feel. Um... I feel like they're trying to keep their feelings in this hidden because they know that this karmic is about to snap at any minute. Yeah, but this, look, um, I feel like this is your person. They're, they can't sleep at night. They're stressed out about this because um, they really want this. They know they've, they're running out of time to get this new beginning with you. You're not talking to them. Um, you haven't said a peep. And they know that they've had their back turned towards you for far too long, but they're worried about this karmic. They don't want, I feel like they don't want this karmic to come towards you. I feel like this person right now is keeping their feelings hidden because they're worried about the karmic coming towards you. Okay, this could be your twin flame. Uh, it doesn't have to be though. Uh, they could be dealing with a Gemini, or you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, you could be dealing with another Cancer or Virgo. But I feel like this person, uh, they can't stop thinking about you. They really want to come towards you. They want to move fast on this. You may get a lot of... Uh, um, communication from this person text messages I feel they're more like warnings though to be honest yeah this person sees you oh man they see you as their ten of cups their ultimate wish fulfillment they're super burdened about this um, yeah they want to talk cancer but they're afraid they, they don't want to get busted talking to you by this page of swords because this page of swords literally is monitoring everything that they do and and they're watching you too mad all right I, they're already thinking about messaging you here with the little birds over their head um and this person knows it. they do not want this karmic coming towards you so right now it's like they feel like all they can really do is sit here um and try to cover up how they feel about you but they're, they're getting to the point where they know they've got to send some kind of communication and fast. Like, seriously, this person is really stressed out. At, you know, on one hand, they want to communicate with you. They want this new beginning. On the other hand, um, the, I feel like they're trying to protect you from the karmic. That is, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. Yeah... Okay, clarify this hangman. They're seeing things clearer now. They're seeing the true side of this karmic because this page of swords over here, um, they're very immature. They're very stalkery. Um, they're, they're getting angry. I can feel that off of this karmic. Um, man, your person just sees them from a whole new light here. Emperor energy. I feel like this is them starting to boss up a little bit. Could be dealing with the Taurus and Aries. Yes, they see these. They see it clearly now. This is somebody making a decision, but keeping it on the down low, right? I feel like they know they need to communicate. They know th they need to communicate not just to you, but to this karmic individual. 
And that's the part that they're afraid of. Because if they tell the karmic that they want you, this karmic, I feel like, already knows. They're already questioning this person. They can feel it intuitively, okay? Um, they already know this person wants to go towards you. But if they tell the karmic that, the karmic is going to snap. And I feel like it's the karmic will then start badgering you, like messaging you, going to your house, blah, blah, blah. And I, I really feel like this person, um, they're trying to protect you is, is the feeling that I'm getting off of this. That really is the feeling. They're in a lot of regret for what they chose, man, because now they can see the true side of this karmic. They're, they're freaking out. Lies. I feel like this person is, I feel like this person wants to sneak away from the karmic. Okay, you see how they're tiptoeing out? They want to sneak away, right? Talk to you, tell you that, hey, I want a new beginning with you, okay? I, I'm in a lot of regret for how I treated you in the past. It's almost like they have to talk really fast, okay? Are you feeling that? I am. I feel like they're they're having to sneak away from this page to talk to you really fast, tell you what's going on, but then they're they've got to go back and deal with this page. Okay? I feel like they want to know if they even have a chance with you here. That's what they want to know. They want to know if it, they and they want to tell you, I feel, that they can't stop thinking about you, that it's you, they want a new beginning with you, Cancer. But it's going to be like they're going to be sneaking, okay? Because they they want to let you know all of this. They do. They want to talk to you. But they're afraid that this page is going to follow them or go straight to you because they are being watched. Yeah, look, bottom of the deck. This person feels stuck because they're with that karmic. I'm telling you. They're, they're feeling trapped by this karmic. Like, okay, at any minute I'm going to escape this, this devil jail, okay? At any moment I'm going to escape from here, go as fast as I can, talk to cancer, blah, blah, blah. I want this, blah, 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 right? As fast as I can. But this is them sneaking around. They won't have time. It's going to be limited. Um... And you're gonna, they're going to tell you that they have to go back and deal with this karmic. Like, you're going to know all of this. They're going to tell you the truth. Um, but they are making a decision here. Yeah, this is somebody protecting you from the karmic. I, why they don't just stand up to the karmic, I don't know. They're scared. I feel like they're, they're scared and they're worried that that karmic is going to come straight to you. And it's almost like they want to come in, they want to sneak away to warn you, tell you how they feel, and then go back here because they feel stuck. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, they, what, they're they going to tell you they want a new beginning here, but they feel stuck. They feel defeated because if they come towards you, the karmic's going to freak out. So I feel like they're going to, I feel like they want to come towards you, Cancer, and just give you really quick, a really quick uh, rundown of the situation and a warning, okay? That's really the feeling that I'm getting here. But they're, they're, they're feeling trapped with this, with this karmic because of their mental state. I'm hearing that some of them have mental instabilities, mental issues. They could be, the karmic could be a Capricorn, or, or your person could be a Capricorn, Aries, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer. Yeah, see, I feel like this person's coming in really fast, Cancer, but you're not going to like what you hear. Okay, I feel like it will be the truth, but you're not going to like what you hear. I also feel like this could be... Uh, the karmic wanting to come towards you, okay? Um, <sighs> clarify this Knight of Swords for Cancer. I mean, I'm feeling this is a masculine energy, but yeah. 
Cancer, I really feel like this is your person coming forward here, but it's good. Like I said, there it's it's going to be so fast. Okay, they won't have a lot of time. See, because they're only sneaking away from the karmic to come and tell you how. Like I said, they want to tell you how they feel. They want to tell you they want a new beginning here with you. Okay, um, and they're going to tell you that they feel stuck. And they're going to warn you, I feel, about this karmic. They're going to warn you. But they'll have to, it's, it's almost like they, they have in and out energy here. Um, because they've got to go back. I, I feel like they, they are protecting you from somebody who's kind of losing their mind a little bit. To be honest with you, yes. They, they definitely want a new beginning with you, Cancer. They're going to tell you this. Yeah, but they're protecting you. They're defending you. They are keeping the karmic away from you. What did I say? They want this new beginning, but they can't have it until they clean up this karmic situation. I don't know why they're coming so fast. I think it's because you're moving forward. Or they just feel like they're out of time, or maybe it's because um, maybe it's because they know the karmic could come and talk to you at any time. I don't know what it is for sure, but this person is warning you about this karmic, and it kind of makes sense, Cancer. I mean, looking on looking at some of the other readings I've done recently, this karmic does want to stir up trouble with you. So, yeah, and I really am getting that they're protecting you, Cancer, okay? They're protecting you because they really do want this new beginning here. Yeah, they're brokenhearted because they can't, they want this new beginning, but they can't get away from this karmic. They're, they're worried, they're scared, they're worried about what the karmic is going to say to you, how they're going to approach, I don't know, I... This person's definitely sneaking away, right? Yeah, they're brokenhearted because you know what? Here's the thing. I feel like you're going to say, look, if you're still wrapped up with a toxic situation here, I can't be a part of it. I, I feel like you're going to be like, you know what? You, you should have taken care of this before you came to me. I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm out here living a peaceful life, says Cancer. You know, I'm uh, I'm being a guide for other people. I'm healing out here, you know, and I'm moving forward. I'm I'm I can't. This is you moving forward, learning your lessons from the toxicity. You don't want to have any part of that here. So I feel like this person's gonna end up heartbroken because you're gonna be like, look, I I don't know what to tell you. Um, I can't wait anymore, right? This isn't you waiting. This is you moving on. Yeah, this person's going to be heartbroken. That's that feeling of defeat here when they return to the karmic situation. They're going to be in a lot of pain. They're going to feel really stuck when they go back to this karmic. But I feel like this very well could be a final goodbye here for your person. I mean, it's, you know, they're protecting you, but, you know, it, it, they're not really doing anything about the situation. And you can't have that, and you can't wait for forever either. I feel like you're done waiting, and you're done... I feel like you're just done with all of this toxic stuff. It's, you know, and I really do sense that you're going to be moving forward here, Cancer, and saying, geez, I'm really sorry, but I can't be a part of this, you know, and I can't wait for you any longer, you know. That's what it feels like to me. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I'm really getting the sense that um, this is your energy, I feel like you're in King of Pentacles energy, just being very, you're going to be handling it very logically, okay? This tells me that, you know, when, when they have this talk with you, I feel like you're going to, you're going to tell them logical facts, like, 
You can't expect me to keep waiting while you're with someone else. You can't expect me to be okay with you sneaking out of that situation to come and talk to me. You can't expect me to just put my life on hold for you. You know, um, it doesn't work that way. Logically, it doesn't work that way. I feel like you're going to be very grounded, very stable having this conversation with this person. Like, you know, I mean, it's the facts. And you definitely, you're also going to say, you know what, I'm, I've got my balance here. I'm, I'm healed. I'm living a peaceful life. I don't have any room in my life for any kind of toxicity. I feel like that's what you're going to tell this person. All right, what else can you show me for cancer? Just a couple more. And guys, I am going to take this over to the extended. I want to look, um, I want to take a nice deep look into their emotions and see how they're feeling here because really they're feeling defeated when they, when they get back to the, to the karmic and they're super stressed out because they know they've got to tell you all this stuff and it still leaves all of these loose ends. It really doesn't clear anything up. They haven't done the work as far as get, you know, cleaning up the karmic situation. You know, um, they're stressed out already before they talk to you because I think they, they already know how it's going to end up. You know, I don't, I, and this person, they quite simply, they just don't want to let you go. They don't, they're not going to want to let you go, Cancer, but they're not going to be able to stay. They're not going to be able to stay. This is in and out energy. I feel like they, they may come in, you know, flying in really fast with a passion, talking really fast. Listen, I don't have much time, right? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. I don't have much time. I had to sneak away. You don't understand. Um, the karmic is on top of you. I, I, I needed to tell you how I feel. Is there any kind of chance? Do you feel the same way about me? Um, and I don't have much time because I got to go back there because this person, I really feel like they're panicking. They're panicking. But see, if they only did their work, right? And clean this up. Clearly, they hate it here. In this situation, look at this is how they feel like every day. Huh. Okay? I mean, it's not funny, but like, come on, how long can they actually go on like this? It could have been up to nine years that this person has been in this situation. And the karmics are feeling very threatened cancer um, because they just they can't compete with you this person is constantly thinking about you constantly in regret over you so you know um, yeah I don't know I I feel like they're they're rushing in to tell you something that's a warning sign okay they're warning you here um, but they're they're not going to be able to stick around cancer and I quite frankly the way it looks here, that is not going to be good enough for you in the new cycle. You know, I feel like you're going to be very logical with this person. You could be dealing with um, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But, you know, I feel like you're going to be like, come on, man. And this is somebody who's used to getting their way. So they may even be... Um, kind of upset about it afterwards. After you tell them this, they're good. they could even be angry, say some hurtful things, you know, lash out, because they're under a lot of pressure here. But you're, I mean, you're going to be very frank about it, you know. It, it is what it is. That's, that's kind of what you're going you're gonna to be like. It is what it is. Get upset, get mad, get it, you know, get whatever. They may be saying some harsh things about the karmic. They may tell you that. And I feel like that's just another red flag for you. That they're not, they're not healed, right? I feel like you're going to be like, I, I've already been patient through this whole thing. I don't, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm walking into a new cycle right now. I don't have time to be more patient you know what I mean 
I feel like that's what they're going to ask you to do. And they're going to do all that they can. Like this is somebody here in this energy that does all that they can. They try to say all the right things. Um, they'll, they're going to do everything that they can to turn this around with you, I feel. But no. I feel like your answer, yeah, see, on the bottom of the deck, no. No. I feel like that's a that's a big no. And I feel like you're not going to get out of, like, you're not going to be emotional. You're going to be very balanced here. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to kind of break it to them as easy as you can. But, I mean, you're going to use logic. It's going to be facts that you give them. Things that can't be disputed, right? It'll be, it'll be undisputable. The reasons that you're getting them for saying no. And I feel like they're they're going to leave just absolutely crushed. Crushed. And having to hide it because they're still with a karmic. You know? Anyway, Cancer, yeah, your readings, the readings now are starting to get a little bit odd. But <laughs> that's what I've got in this one. Um, I am going to take this into Patreon, guys, so if you're interested in digging deeper into how they're feeling inside, um, follow me over to Patreon. There's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box, right? And Cancer, I love you very much. I, I hope this resonates. I hope it helps somebody. Um, if you guys like this video, please click the like button, right? Subscribe to the channel. Help me grow if you haven't already and you like this vibe and it's resonating and you want to so join this awesome soul tribe, <laughs> right? Yeah, so like, subscribe, comment, share, guys. And until next time, my darlings, take care of you, Cancer, and peace out.